The housing so, market in New Orleans is a joke. The council people is a joke. They let this go on. They, no, they, 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 they don't have no backbones. They all got their own agenda. They're not for the people at all. They for how far they can go up, you know? If you had the opportunity to return, are you living somewhere? I stay, I stay on uh, Martha Luther King right now. In the private market? Or in subsidized housing? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. A, uh, uh, I'm just renting a house on a house. Private market. Pri private market. Yeah, you could say that. And is that by choice, or is that because you can't return? That's that's the that's the whole thing. Is it, they make you? They give you what they want you to have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. They're telling you, no, we don't want you back over there. We want you to do what we say do. And then we put a lawsuit about them stealing all our furniture and everything, and we brought it to a federal courthouse. What, what's this that make bringing a federal situation into a federal courthouse that's, 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 that's going to buy it by what the federal people say? Right. So we was in a lose-lose situation, but we tried anyway. Right. And have you had a solution? Have you had the results? Well, half of the results came in that they're not going to stop demolition. No, they ain't not going to stop demolition. Because they, they got their job, then uh, if, if, if the judge say they're going to stop demolition, he might be fired next week. So do you think that, that anybody, can, anything can be done at this point in stopping demolition? Well, anything can be done because the people are the force of anything. The people are the force. If people step up and, and, and stand there, I'm not talking about no applica applicants, uh, no, no people getting paid for it. I'm talking about poor people. Poor residents. That's right. If they stand strong and tall, it's nothing they can do. Well, you know, having been on the front lines of the Stop the Demolition movement myself, um, I, I've noticed the absence of the residents uh, for the most part and tried to actually uh, do something to involve them and engage them. What can be done? What, how do you, what, what can you say? Uh, to those people who well, to stop the demolition that that's, that's doing now the front line that you're talking about at the at the at the Calio. Yes, they had already made a deal before the hurricane. They already knew their situation. See, that was that was that was already in the pan. But I'm talking about somebody like CJP, like 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 Lafitte, like Lafitte shouldn't be touched at all. And I'm from the Magnolia. I'm a, well, that's the CJP. I'm from, I'm from the CJP. And I don't see what reason they got to touch. That's a pretty project. It's well kept. And it's still in good shape. You'd have been there yourself, probably. Yes. They have no business. That wasn't even on the demolition market until the hurricane. They said, oh, well, well let's stop. We ain't going to let nobody back in that one either. And so you, what you're telling me then is because B.W. Cooper was already proved to, dem to be demolished before Katrina. Right. Then the residents have not stood up on the front because lines. Because they knew what was happening. It they, was that already was, too that, late. That was a plan. They still, they, 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 they still were displaced, but they knew what the, what what the situation is. That's why they're not out there. But we know if it comes down to being on that front line of demolition, if they're not, not going to buy buy or do what we say or uh, give the residents some kind of leeway to what's happening, they're going to have a, you're going to see a big difference when they come to CJP. You're going to see a big difference when they go to St. Bernard, and you're going to see a big difference when they go to Lafitte. Not yet Lafitte. Mm -hmm. They wanted uh, Iverville to be torn down too, but the people went in anyway. Mm -hmm. They wanted all of them torn down. So that they can come in and Make money, make money. All that is prime, prime land. And to keep the poor people out they, of New Orleans and change the makeup of the city. We pay more rent than they pay mortgage. Hmm. Well, thank you, Lenny. Uh, I think that about <laughs> that's, that's up. Yeah. All right. Appreciate your so, support. And by the way, uh, that welfare stuff stopped it eight years ago. <laughs> There's no such thing as welfare. You know, the mayor before nagging stopped all that. So we don't have nowhere. 45,000 people in New Orleans was getting welfare. And we both know they wasn't all in the project.
No, indeed. No, indeed. So, where's the lazy people? Hmm. No. You tell me that we, we both are now. They had 90% of people in housing working. Some of them had two jobs. Hmm. Just to make ends meet and paying $299. The, uh, the top rate, uh, that's, that's, that's in the project, that's the top rate. The ceiling. Ceiling, uh, you know, I'm not good with them words. It don't matter, you get them in the cross fine. Yeah, but like I said, the people had two jobs, not one. One third of, of housing had two jobs trying to make ends meet. And now the situation is even worse than that. Not, it done tripled up. Now, if you're going to pay $900 for my, stay in somebody else's apartment, why well, you didn't pay $900 a month for somebody to fix up the apartment mm -hmm. where we were staying? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a good point. So, so it doesn't make no sense. No, it doesn't. $1,500 for a, two, for a three bedroom. If you feel that way, but uh, fix up. Build us a house and we'll pay, we'll pay $700. We'll, we'll give you no more problem. Don't make us no sense to pay $700 of our 30% income and then you got to pay $750 to the landlord. Hmm. It don't make no sense. The numbers don't but add up. The government can do whatever they want. As long as we keep letting them do it, they're going to keep doing it. Well, opportunities for the opportunists. Well, that's right, and it's going to take people like yourself and myself and a bunch of others just like us to, you know, get I didn't tell you I went to Venezuela, that people gave me the opportunity to go to Venezuela, huh? No, tell me about it. Oh, they gave me the opportunity to go to Venezuela with some more residents, but I was the only one for my de housing development that went. They made me go to the, my, my, the, my neighbors made me go because they wanted me to represent them, but I told them I'm not built for that. They say, you all we got, and you going. So I say, I, I was like pulled to it. So when I got to Venezuela, we went to, we didn't go to the, uh, to the uh, communal council. We went to the barrios, which is the projects. Right. And their projects started 250,000 people. Hmm. Now imagine that on a mountain. Hmm. You know, and we, 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 we got there and we went to learn out we went to learn about the, the, the communal council and everything. They got us to go and meet all these rich people in the building. Hmm. And I, I forgot what they call this building where that's where all of, they do all the business at. And we met the mayor, we met all the dignitaries there, and we told them that we are, we appreciate you giving Danny Governor money, giving other people money. I say, we think Danny Governor is a great actor. He might be a great activist, but he does nothing for us. He never comes in a poor neighborhood and see what we need or what we want. I say, so whatever happened to your money, don't get down to us. They was, they was allocating us money to fix the project. Hmm. They was willing to send some people over here to help us fix the project. Who you think stopped? The president. Bush stopped it because Chavez told him to kiss his ass because he wouldn't tell him, he wouldn't, he wouldn't accept him telling him what to do with his gas. How about that? And then he said he was a, he was a, uh, he was a communist and a revolutionary, Terrorist. but the man is for his people. I saw it for myself. I saw him give land to people that been staying on there for 20 years. He brought the pink slip to the land to the landowners, tell them this year's. Hmm. He getting, he doing everything for the poor and working his way up. He's not working his way from up to down. And that's what I figure we should be doing. You're already up there. Start down and work your way up. And it was really, they were willing to send us, matter of fact, I think they did send us a portion of the money, hmm. but the guy they sent it to, we don't know where he is. But the government still wouldn't want to take it. So we could actually learn a lesson or two from the Venezuelan they, system. That's, I, I, I wish you could go there and you, you'll see a big difference. Nothing they tell you is true. I, I am going. 